Hi, this is Highbridge Caravans, Devon Branch, and on this very chilly and increasingly dark January day, we're doing a walk around video on this very, very rare, uh, not particularly chilly or dark, Wild Axe Aurora. So this is a Wild Axe Aurora. It's based on a six meter Citroen Relay chassis. It's a late 2010 on a 60 plate. Uh, this has had one owner almost all of its life. This was built by Wild Axe back when they were building on um, slightly used base vehicles. So it um, spent a year as a van and then it was converted around about 2011, 2012 and sold to its one and only effective owner who's cherished it ever since. Uh, he absolutely loved the van and the best thing with this Wild Axe Aurora, it's late 2000. 2010, and it's only done I think it's 15 or 16,000 miles so Wild Axe we are main dealers for Wild Axe we absolutely love them they're part of Rapido but they're a British manufacturer from Yorkshire and they build very very high quality uh, van conversions so this is a Wild Axe Aurora it's not a leisure it's the fixed bed version the leisure would have an in lounge this has got a fixed fold away bed uh, or semi fixed bed depending on how you look at it 2010 on a 60 plate four seat belts uh, three berths, it's got a fixed bed, it's three and a half ton, based on a Citroen Relay, 2.2 .2 turbo diesel, 130 horsepower with a six speed manual gearbox, only 16 and a half thousand miles from new with loads of service history, just under six metres long, 2.2 .2 wide or 2.05 not including the wing mirrors and it's priced at 33.95 and that will include a new MOT, a full engine service, a full habitation service, a full valet, 12 months warranty, we're going to black up the bumpers that have turned a bit grey and we're either going to refurb or put some nice wheel trims on the wheels which always get a little bit crusty. Apart from that it's a very very nice van so let's have a little walk around the outside. So this is in sky blue metallic. Um, it's got a factory fitted uh, Pro Store, I think, a Pro Store canopy awning uh, up there, which you could use to attach a driveway awning as well, or add sides in the front to, or it's just a sun canopy as is. Double glazed windows all the way around. Wild axes are set up for those who want to go away long term off hook up in the winter time. So you've got proper double glazed windows all the way around. Now you've got an electric step down there. These are flush fit windows as well. These are clear ones on this one. Um, fridge vent for your three-way fridge freezer now the only sort of fault on this van that we can't really do much about it's only cosmetic and it's this scrape here you can't see it when the sliding doors open it's in the middle of a panel I doubt there's anything we can do about it it is just cosmetic you can put a sticker over it if you want something like that um, fresh water fill up point there you've got underslung fresh and waste water tanks but they are heated as standard so like a winter pack as standard from Wild Axe um, coming around to the back of the van we've got a high level reversing camera in the brake light up there yes, I think there is yeah uh, can't quite see it but there is there's a reversing camera up there we've got rear windows for your rear bedroom a handy tow bar with which you can uh, put bikes on there if you wanted to on a bike rack if we open up the back we'll see the big selling point of this van now at the time Fixed bed van conversions were still a bit of a novelty in this country. Now they dominate, everybody wants them. But back in 2010, you didn't see them so much. And it's taken the British manufacturers, or most still haven't fully grasped the benefits of it. And the benefits of a fixed bed are both that you can have a nice comfortable bed, but also you've got all this storage space underneath. Now the difference between how Wild Axe do this and anybody else, and this is why this is a bit of a niche model um, with a, a definite sort of um, positives to some people, is Wild Axe use an underslung gas tank. They've put the heating system further forward in the van, and that means this is all empty under here. If you look at all the competitors for this, like the uh, Adria Twin, for instance, the Globe Cars, the Rapidos, the Dreamers, they'll have water tank boxed in down here they'll have gas locker there and they'll have boiler there so half your space is taken up whereas on this it's completely empty so you've got loads and loads of storage space and also this bed mechanism as you can probably kind of tell you can fold away and strap up to that seat belt clip up there and that gives you a completely empty space which is such a great thing for putting bikes or a moped or the mother-in-law or a grandfather clock a christmas tree surfboard you name it you've got all that as loading space with the bed folded away so it makes a great day-to-day -day vehicle and sporting vehicle and it's got the biggest rear load area of anything i can think of outside of a sort of brand new adria twin sgx which are about seventy-five thousand. so uh, very very good all the panel works properly nicely done um 
clip-on table which goes at the front but can also be clipped on outside. Uh, concertina blinds and fly screens on all the windows as well. So it's all a nicely built van. I say in a layout that's just a little bit different. So we're coming around the driver's side. Apart from that sort of scuff just after the sliding door, body works all really good. You've got a digital TV aerial on the roof. We've got the flue for your gas and electric, Truma Combi, water heater and blown air heating system. Mains hook up there and a gas tank fill up point. So this will have a underslung gas tank that will be anywhere from 20 to 30 kilograms underneath. So instead of using gas locker, which takes up some of your under bed storage, uh, this one's got a gas tank and you fill it up with LPG at a um, petrol station, basically at the LPG gas pump. There are 600 LPG filling places in the UK and tens of thousands of them all across Europe. Plus side to this is, it's much cheaper to fill up, you've got a much bigger gas capacity, and it doesn't save any, uh, use any space on the inside. So good plus sides there. Wing mirrors are electrically adjustable and uh, short arm, so no, no sort of truck style sort of wing mirrors hanging out like on that transit van over there. They're nice and easy down the lanes and simply manually fold in. On the cab spec side of things, you've got a decent cab spec, you've got lecky windows, central lock-in, electric mirrors, uh, you've got the little uh, traffic master, very outdated sat-nav thing there, you've got the high up mounted uh, reversing camera monitor up there, which is old but functional in fairness to it. Um, other things, we've got six-speed gearbox, uh, steering wheel controls for the stereo, uh, and that's about it really. So it's got everything you uh, everything you need and nothing that you don't. So, walking around the other side, that Traffic Master, by the way, for those who don't remember it, Traffic Master was a subscription-based sat-nav system, which was a live sat-nav system, um, where you can pay a subscription and... Um, actually sort of press a button and talk to someone and they'll load a map for you which was great and then someone invented google maps and you don't need that anymore so led outside awning light opening up the side door you got the back of the kitchen you got your number two table rail there for putting the table outside your number one table rail being over there and then we've got a typical european style front lounge so we've got twin swivelly cab seats with single armrests and we've got a double forward facing seat. So this differs to the new Aurora uh, where they've gone for a single seat there to uh, give you a bit more space here. But this has got a double seat which has the benefit of having two seat belts. And if you want to take a guest with you, slide this down and put the feet on there and you've got a single bed. It is on the shorter side. It would do for a kid, maybe two kids or a short adult, maybe a jockey, Frankie Dottori, if you're friends with him, he can come with you. So lift up extra works flap there and another one further back in the van which is good the original wild axe carpets in fantastic condition this van is in super duper condition so the gentleman that had it loved it he cherished it and at 16,000 miles it's not been overused good thing with this it's not got horrible dark shiny zebrano wood which a lot of wild axes did have i don't know if that was around in 2010 but it's not a good thing uh, this has got a nice plain mid-colored wood which is very sensible upholstery has got a bit of a pattern but it's not red or green or blue it's a fairly neutral color again concertina sliding doors which you'll see on all wild axes they go up they work really really well uh, this one's got a tv in it which is quite old but we'll leave it with it it's a tv dvd 12 volt one uh, we don't check that it'll be left there if it works it works in the ceiling we've got a, a midi hecky roof light which is a opening sliding roof light um, and then you've got your boiler heating system underneath of here which is the best place for it as it just saves space now the other difference between this and all the other fixed bed van conversions you're ever going to see out there and the reason why people still buy this model new today is the kitchen as all the other fixed bed van conversions particularly this asian price bracket are european vans they won't have a very good kitchen wild axe aren't they've done this in a british way so you've got an oven proper thetford combi oven and grill at a decent height you've got lift up workspace there two burner hob and a deep sink and then you've got more workspace on a slide out back here so it's a really usable kitchen so this is probably the best fixed bed van out there of any age for someone who actually likes to cook in the van lots and lots of decent size storage cupboards in there as well which is good news bathroom is just a typical wet room bathroom toilet cassette 
corner sink, but it's all in very, very good condition. So the van as a whole is in excellent condition all the way around. I like the fact it's got LED bulbs all the way around as well, which I don't know if they've been retrofitted, but they look factory fitted, which is good, as uh, not all of these things did have at the time. I like the fact that two plug sockets in the kitchen, not just one as well. Three-way fridge freezer, only fault on the inside of the van is just cosmetic is the... Uh, coating on the fridge door has gone a bit crispy that could be removed or tidied up or whatever fridge is in excellent condition though full width freezer so yeah, that's really 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 clean in there wardrobe is above your fridge freezer decent sized wardrobe and then at the back is the bedroom which we saw from the outside so empty underneath good place for the dog to sleep if you've got doggies and yeah really really good size cupboards spotlights around the foot end there i like these sort of little strip lights along there as well they're kind of nice and you've got a, a skylight above with a mucky blind above it so this is it this is our 2010 late 2010 on a 60 plate wild axe aurora uh, with the fixed or semi-fixed bed at hybrid caravans devon branch it's a rare van um it's a good van as well so you don't see vans which had an owner for this long very often uh, or kept in this nicer condition it does have a couple of very minor cosmetic ailments but it's entitled to it's 10 year old 11 year old um but it's very very solid it's been very well cared for it's priced at 33.95 with a new mot full engine service habitation service full valet blacked up bumpers new wheel trims and a 12 month uh, industry leading warranty so we are hybrid caravans devon branch if you're inquiring ring us at the devon branch of hybrid not at the Somerset branch or contact us through the hybridcaravans.co.uk website. Thank you for your time. Goodbye.